Can you tell me why uh, Islam is so beautiful, according to you? Um, because it's it's a it's a very peaceful religion. Like what really? I really Islam what is a peaceful Islam is peaceful religion. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Why, if if Islam is so peaceful, why did your prophet say uh, the best of Muslims are the Muslims who bring unbelievers with chains around their necks? Can you Where does it say that? Where does it say it in sunnah.com hadith, Sahih hadith. Okay. You never heard of this before? I have heard of Sahih hadith is like Bukhari, Muslim and Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi and everything. Yeah. But I haven't interpreted them because if someone who knows Arabic well uh, to interpret it for me, because I'm not used to, I don't look through hadith, it's like, like I can't interpret it myself. So you never heard of the hadith that says uh, bring uh, the unbelievers with uh, chains uh, around their necks? My turn. Um, let me see. Bring uh, unbelievers with chains around their necks. Okay, let me let me show it to you in the text. Is that okay? Okay, no problem. Okay. Here, here's the hadith, and let me get the entire hadith also in the text. That's the link for it. No problem. Okay. You, true Muslims, are the best of peoples ever raised up for mankind. Here Muhammad is being a racist, but that's off topic. Means the best of people for the people as you bring them with chains on their necks till they appraise Islam. Is that is is that peaceful? Is that peaceful according to you? This is Sahih Bukhari, by the way. Okay, it's saying with chains on their neck till they embrace Islam. Well, yeah. What does that mean then? That's mean How you have to. It? It's not. It, it, you don't need to interpret it because it's clear. It says you have to bring unbelievers with chains around their necks. You have to force them to become Muslims. So That's there, that that also shows us that the ayah of there is no compulsion in religion has been abrogated. How many yeah. Muslims? Till today, use that ayah. There is no compulsion in religion. Many. Of course, everyone does. Most people, most most Muslims do that. I yeah. Don't, but uh, you know, you know, but you know that that, that ayah has been abrogated, right? What what does that mean? Like changed? No, not changed. Completely cancelled out. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah, that. Do. You do. Yeah. Okay. So you do you do confirm that Islam? Either you're going to be a Muslim. Or yeah. you have to be killed, right? We can agree on that. That's what Islam teaches, right? If you if you become an apostate, you have to be. Killed. No, no, forget about apostate. Okay, sorry. If, if the uh, yeah, if the ayah there is no compulsion in religion, if that has been abrogated, that means hmm. the only way for you to to stay alive, if you're a Christian or a Jew, you have to. If, Become a Muslim. If you don't become, want to become a Muslim, you have to pay the jizya. Pagans, mushrikeen, have to accept Islam, else they are going to get killed. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, it's good that we can agree on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this hadith, no, not, is this hadith not from the devil? This is a sahih hadith. Yeah. yeah. Of course it's a hadith. So don't you agree with me that this hadith cannot be from a true God, a loving God? Um, I don't know, you know, honestly, honestly, that's the... It it says, bro, bro, be, be real with me, be, be real with me. You are, okay. you are, you are, okay. a, you are, you are a person, you are a human being like me. If yeah, God, if, if God is truly loving, he created us out of love. Do you think that he would send a prophet like Muhammad who will say, and this is from the mouth of Muhammad, he will say something like this, that you have to bring people with chains around their necks until they embrace Islam? No, you, but um, can I, okay, go on, go on. So do you think this is, this is a prophet from the true God who preaches about law? Uh, be, a, be, a, be real with me, my friend. Come on, this is 2019, we are not stupid anymore. We know Islam, you Wait, know Islam. Say. Okay, sorry, my bad. 
So what do you think about this hadith? Do you think your prophet is think, a prophet Yeah, yeah, he's a bit violent. But then look at look at another hadith where it says, um, wait, no, not hadith. I, I can't remember. I looked at this where it said that if you burden uh, a non-Muslim minority, then I will complain to God about you on the day of judgment. That's what uh, Muhammad. So are you telling me your prophet uh, contradicted himself? Is that what you're saying? Oh. I'm not saying that, but can I give you the quote where it, what it says about... You, you, can, uh, you can give me two quotes, you can give me ten quotes, but that's, that's contradicting. If I today say I'm uh, ten feet tall and tomorrow yeah. I say I'm three feet tall, that means I'm contradicting myself, don't you agree? Yeah. yeah, so your prophet, he kept busting himself in the hadith, he also kept busting himself in the Quran too. Yeah. But can I then, should I just um, say the whole of uh, what he said then? Yeah, sure, you can, you can give me 10, 10 examples, but still we can agree, and you just agreed with me, that Muhammad cannot be the prophet of God, because the prophet of God would never contradict himself, and his uh, God also should not pr uh, contradict himself. Because why should you bring uh, uh, down an ayah, and later abrogate it. Why would you change your mind? I mean, if get can God change his mind over and over? Why would you send oh. an ayah, then you cancel and abrogate it? Why? Why? That's that's crazy. That's that shows us that Allah must be mentally ill, like his prophet. And we can conclude that Allah is the alter ego of Muhammad because we know Muhammad was called yeah. Majnoon. That was his nickname in the Arabic world. He they called him Majnoon poet. Did you know that? Mad, mad poet, what does that mean? Yeah, mad poet, yeah. Okay. So why would you follow, my friend? Why would you follow a mad poet? Oh, um, I, don't, I, I don't think he is. He's not a mad poet, though, because... Well, says he, was, he was possessed by jinn, wasn't he, for at least half a year? Some sources say uh, for a long year, one long year. He used to <laughs> think that he had sex with his wives. Well, that was not true. He was dreaming it. So yes, even according to your hadith, your prophet was possessed by jinn. And we know that black magic, the master of black magic is Satan. So Satan was riding your prophet for at least half year on his shoulders. He, yeah. was, he was doing like this. You know, like how you, when you uh, are on a horse, right? So that's what was Satan doing to him, to your prophet. Oh, but are you sure though? Like that—that that is true about him. Because I don't yes. know. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. It's it's on sunnah.com. Do you want me to show you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you never heard of this before. I, I'm not, not. I haven't. I haven't studied enough to know about the hadiths, and I haven't studied Arabic. You probably you studied Arabic a lot more than me, and yeah. like I've never heard but most you, of these things. But you never yeah. heard that black magic was uh was put on your uh, prophet. Oh, I, don't, I don't think it would. What what I happened? Think. What happens if 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 we can show you that Muhammad was possessed by jinn? What would you do? Would you leave Islam? I have to see first, honestly. Okay. Let's see. This is the hadith. I just found it for you. Sahih al Bukhari. Okay. You like Sahih al Bukhari, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, because it's Sahih Hadith. Open that Hadith with me. You open it and let me also put it in the... It's a very long Hadith, but it's okay. It's Sahih Al-Bukhari. Look what okay, it says. My, Look what it says. My, Look what it... Read with me, my friend. I put it in the text. Magic was worked on Allah's Messenger. Do you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Of yeah. Course. So, your Prophet was under the black magic. And, he, and if you continue with me, it says... So that he used to think that he had sexual relations with his wives while he actually had not. And look what Sofyan said. That's the hardest kind of magic. So are you telling me that Allah is a real God and he allows Satan to ride your prophet? To, to ride him like a horse, like a donkey? But he, so are you saying that Satan tempted... Muhammad. I'm not saying it. The had your Islamic sources are saying, my friend. For, uh, forget about me. I'm not. Uh, I'm not the one talking here. Yeah, the hadith. But, um, the hadith is in front of you. And if you continue, look what it says. 
Okay. Oh Aisha, do you know that Allah has instructed me concerning the matter I asked him about? Two men came to me and none of them sat near and one of them sat near my head and the other sat near my feet. The one near my head asked the other, what's wrong with this prophet? What is wrong with Muhammad? What's wrong with him, man? The latter replied, he's under the effect of magic. The first one asked, who has worked magic on him? The other uh, replied, Labid bin al Asam, a man from Bani Zurek. Are you telling me that Allah, the so-called Allah of Islam, allowed a Jew, allowed a Jew to work black magic of Satan on your prophet? Why, oh, why didn't Allah protect his, his prophet, my friend? This is this is a prophet, really? Is this a prophet, my friend? Come on. How do how how do you know it's that black magic was worked on him? Because the hadith is in front of you. <laughs> Lord of mercy. It's um, in front of you. Can't you read? I just read it for you, my friend. Okay. No, I need to read it. Then. Yeah. You, I need... But okay. uh, be be honest with me, my friend. Do you still believe that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Be honest. Yeah, honest. No, honest. But... Honest. Okay. Honesty. If 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 I today I say I proclaim to be a prophet. Proclaim do you think that do, should should my God should my God not protect me from Satan, especially black magic of Satan? Yes, of course. Yeah, I yeah. do agree. So can I ask you to to leave Islam, my friend? Just leave it. You we know you left already left because you know this this cannot be a prophet of God. I'm not. Uh, Just leave Islam, my friend. Come on. I know you are smarter than this. Except what then? What do you think of Jesus? If if Muhammad, if we can conclude that Muhammad is a fake prophet, that means he well, also no. lied. He also lied about Jesus because in the Quran it says wa ma qatalu wa ma salabu. That means they didn't kill him and that they did not crucify him. So that course, means yeah. if we conclude from this hadith that Muhammad simply is not a prophet of God, that means he is a liar. He is a deceiver and he has lied about the real Lord Jesus Christ from the Bible. So we can conclude didn't. that Muhammad, six hundred years later, he proclaimed he made himself to be a prophet. No one, no, there's no God who made him a prophet. He's a liar, he's a deceiver. Oh, he and because he's, sorry? Okay. He was sent revelation though from God. The, the Quran was sent to him though. No, because the, if, if the God of the Quran was truly the God of the Bible, he should not, never allow Satan to control the prophet of Islam. We already concluded that and we are done with that conclusion, my friend. Okay, so, so I what? invite you, I invite you to leave Islam and accept your your true Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, why not atheism then? Well, uh, why not? If you think atheism uh, is the correct way to uh, be my guest, but for sure Islam cannot be the truth. If you okay. want to be an atheist, why not? But we, um, we can conclude that Muhammad and you already, you already left Islam because you... You will never accept such false uh, statements about a so-called prophet of God. I mean, I mean, how can Satan uh, ride a uh, prophet like Muhammad on his shoulders for at least six months? I mean, he was riding him like a horse, like a donkey, right? Um, I don't, I don't know, you know. I mean, like this, right? Um. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, why did no? But didn't Jesus like um, publicize the coming of um, the Muhammad because he said? I yeah, he many... did. He did. He did. You know how? He said, "I warn you uh, for false oh. prophets. I oh, warn you for okay. false prophets. Be aware because they will come uh, as sheep in wolves' clothing." What does that mean, my friend? Yeah. So that but means you... that means. Yeah. Jesus prophesied that many, not one, not two, but many false prophets will come. And we see many false prophets. Joseph Smith is a false prophet. Muhammad is a false prophet. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is a false prophet. Yeah. So, of course. so Muhammad was not the first false prophet. And he's certainly not the last. Because a uh, couple of years ago, there was a guy who was telling uh, in America, he's, he's, he was saying, I'm the... I'm the second Jesus Christ. So there are many false teachers, many false prophets. That's nothing new, my friend. Yeah, but can I ask then, what what does, um, when he says, I have many things to say unto you now, 
but for he cannot bear them. Yeah. And that verse. You mean you are talking mean? about you are talking about the Holy Spirit, right? Are you sure, it's the Holy Spirit, or is it Muhammad? The how do you know it's the Holy Spirit? Like because what, what because happened? because the verse is clear. It says the Holy Spirit will come. <laughs> yeah. After wait. Yes. The Comforter. You are talking about the Comforter, aren't you? Of course. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, uh, he's promising to the to the disciples yeah. in the same verses. Yeah. If you if we uh, if we read it, <laughs> you know we are not afraid to to teach about the Bible, my friend. It's if you read it carefully in John. Uh, let me go to John. Can someone uh, in the text help me out? Uh, John, go to start with John twenty four. Sorry, John fourteen twenty four. Someone in the text. John 24, 14, 24, and then all the way to verse 28, please. We can go to that, no problem. Can I ask you what, how many years you've studied, been studying Arabic for? I'm, I'm, a, I'm an Arab. I mean, come on. <laughs> you are now, really? Yeah. So you're from Saudi Arabia? No, I'm 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 uh, I'm not from Saudi Arabia, but I'm not going to tell you which country I'm from. But I'm an Arab. Okay, no problem. Okay, so look what it says. If we uh, okay, the bot is not working for some reason. No problem. Uh, if we go, let me start. Okay, fourteen fourteen twenty six. Let me put it in the in the text. This is this is John 14 26 but the advocate the comforter the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things and remind you for, of everything I have said to you so who will be sent in his name in Jesus name the Holy Spirit the advocate the comforter so are you telling me that Muhammad was sent in the name of Jesus and he's going to be the Holy Spirit no, are you telling but, are you telling me that Muhammad came to talk about Jesus as his God? Here, here Jesus is claiming deity, my friend. But this wasn't the verse. It was wasn't it John sixteen thirteen? No problem. I can go to John sixteen. Because yeah. no. I know that that didn't say about Muhammad John fourteen twenty four. But then, what does it mean by I have many things to say unto you? And that verse, like, no problem. Is that a challenge, my friend? Come on. <laughs> I'm not a challenge. I'm just saying that like, people think that the comforter was Muhammad in that verse. And you're that... talking about John sixteen seven, right? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, no, sixteen um twelve, no sixteen twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. I think. I think it starts with uh, with uh, seven, if I'm not mistaken. Let yeah, me. Let me ask, we can read. Yeah. Here, but yeah. very truly, I tell you, this is John sixteen seven. Okay, let me let me quote the verses for you. Okay. Let me let me quote the verses for you. This is sixteen John sixteen seven. But the advocate, okay. the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. But very truly I tell you, it is for your good that I'm going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, if I go, listen carefully, I, who? I, Jesus saying, I will send him to yeah. you. So are you telling me, do you believe that Jesus sent Muhammad? Yeah, because he's gonna go and there's a prophet coming after him. So not God, not God himself, but Jesus will send Muhammad? Is that what you yeah. No, God will send Muhammad. No, it's no 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 no. The text is clear. It says I will send him to you. Send him to you. <laughs> so who is the God of Muhammad? Jesus. Thank you. Thank you very much. And if we continue, let read yeah. with me. When he when he comes, he will prove the world to be in the wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. Let us continue. Okay, no problem. Uh, okay. Verse 9 says, about sin, because people do not believe in me. So Jesus saying, people might not believe in me. 
and continue verse 10 about righteousness because I'm going to the father Muhammad never believed that God was the father but that's that's okay where well, you can see me no longer okay <laughs> and the next verse and about judgment because the prince of the world now stands condemned so he Jesus is even saying that he's the prince of the world. Imagine. Okay. I have much more to say to you. The next verse. Let me quote. Yeah. I have much more to say to you. More than you can now bear. So okay. it might be too much for you. That I, what I'm saying right now. And Close, look. Yeah. yeah. So the next verse. Verse 30. It says. But when he. The spirit of truth. The Holy Spirit comes he will guide you into all the truth he will not speak on his own he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what yet is to come continue and yeah. and look what the next verse is going to be really damaging for muhammad verse 14 look what it says he will glorify me so muhammad will glorify jesus <laughs> Oh, but no, it's no. for me, but it's for me that he will receive what we will make known to you. So who is going to glorify as God? Jesus Christ. So Muhammad, according to you, if he's the advocate, if he's the Holy Spirit, he will glorify Jesus Christ as you, the God. You, mean, but the God. Can't you, you could interpret that no, in no, a different I, way. No, no, no. Let me continue. Forget about interpreting. Okay, go on. This is, this, this is the next verse and this destroys Muhammad even more. All that belongs to the Father is mine. Jesus is saying all the worlds, all the, the governments, all the countries, all the lands, everything, even you, even you, as we speak right now, who owns you? Jesus Christ. Because it says all that belongs to the Father is mine whose is mine jesus christ that is why i said the spirit will receive from me from who from me what will he make known to you so jesus is the one commanding muhammad are you, are you still with me <laughs> you still believe this is muhammad for sure not. I, um <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't, I don't know yeah i think so yeah i still do i still do it's just <laughs> You know when it says he will glorify me, how do you know he will? He won't like just tell. Um, you know what glorifying mean, my friend? Do you know what that means? Can you tell me what glorifying giving means? Importance, giving importance. It no, doesn't mean it means worship. it. It means glorify means only when it comes to faith. It means the only one who is worthy to be glorified is God, my friend. Don't jump around like a monkey. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. You agree, right? You agree with me. No need to interpret it. Right. Okay, fine, fine, one. Okay, so, so, can we conclude, can we conclude that Islam is no good for you? <laughs> be be um, real with me, be real with me. I, I'm honestly, I can't, I can't say it isn't that to be honest with you, because... We know, no, we know Muhammad was possessed by jinn. We showed you I, from the hadith. Let me sum it up. Satan was... Riding your prophet for at least six months. He was sitting on his shoulders, yeah. riding him like a donkey. Uh, I mean, we just showed you the hadith, right? I know it was. We know we can conclude that Muhammad is a fake prophet because if God, if Allah was truly the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, He would never allow Satan to ride Muhammad, right? Did so, it. so why 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 are you still a Muslim, my friend? Because I believe that Jesus prayed to God, like he fell on his face and prayed. We already, we already showed you yesterday that that's false what you read. Why are you not continue reading? Okay, then can I ask you then, why then if, if Christians are following the teachings of Christ, do Christians eat pork when it says in Leviticus? Because, because, because Jesus said it's not what comes into your mouth that defiles you, that makes you dirty, nudges, but that that's what comes out of your mouth so that's okay, what you your yeah. behavior your speech your nasty words are showing you your dirtiness inside of you like muhammad when he said to his sahaba yeah. companions anyone yeah. anyone who is proud about what his forefathers in al jahiliya in the pagan time go yeah. bite on the penis of your fathers 
Yeah. So this yeah. is the nasty language that comes out of the mouth of Muhammad that shows what kind of dirty nudges he was. Oh, he said that for a reason though, Bob. You know he didn't say it because... Yes, he did uh, say it. It's all over your sources. Don't lie. And even Abu Bakr said, go bite on the clitoris of Manat. What did Uthman say then? What did Uthman say? Uh, what, did, what did Uthman? Uthman was having a Quranic barbecue. That's what he did. Uthman wrote the Quran. No, Uthman's that white hand, he wrote the Quran with that. What? No, do you, did you, do you know Uthman, who Uthman is? Yeah, I said to you, Uthman had a nice Quranic barbecue. He, he he got himself a lot of pork meat and he had a nice barbecue never, with your Quran. You never ate um, pork meat, Uthman. You never ate pork meat. Yeah, whatever, man. But he uh, he had a nice barbecue with, with a lot of Qurans. He put a lot of Qurans on top of each other. Imagine if today, if we now on the street of London, if we get 30 Qurans and we put them on top of each other, we burn them like Uthman did. How many people yeah, will die? Know. How many people will die in Pakistan as we speak if we do it? Those people. Mil thousands of Christians will be hanged on the trees. Yes. Only because we burnt a couple of Qurans in, on the street of London, right? Yes. So why, why, why the Muslims didn't kill Uthman for burning the Quran? Oh wait, they did kill him. Sorry, yes. they did no. kill him, and they, they they killed him. They killed him, and they put him between uh, Jews' uh, graves, right? Oh. He was buried. He was buried. He was buried on a Jewish. He was buried on in a Jewish cemetery. All right. Okay. So he was killed. He, he, he died a cursed death. They they stepped him to death and they buried. Okay. Not only that, they buried him in a Jewish cemetery. Yeah. Right. So and who killed them? Muslims killed them. Don't tell me they are rebels. They are they are Muslims. They are rebels. Yeah, they are. But they, are they Muslims? Yes, they are. Yeah, 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 they are. Yeah, so thank you very much. Not Christians didn't do it. The Jews didn't do it. Muslims killed them. Oh. And we know the yeah. moment Muhammad died, Muslims started to kill each other left and right. This is why Abu Bakr also started his Rida Wars. This is why Ali and Aisha started to kill each other left and right. How many thousands of Muslims died in the battle of the camel? Right? When Aisha wanted to kill uh, Ali. Thousands of Muslims. The I moment you, the moment Muhammad died, and we know what Ibn Abbas said: burn your prophet, uh, burn your friend fast because he starts to stink. After three days, they buried him, and a couple moments later, mm -hmm. Abu Bakr took the command, and Ali was was not okay with that, and and uh, the Shia of Ali were not okay with that. So the moment Muhammad died, Muslims started to kill each other left and right. Do you think this is the truth? Do you think really Islam is the truth when it only teaches to to have bloodshed? Um, no, it doesn't teach to have bloodshed though, because it's people say don't don't kill people, kill innocent people. ISIS killed innocent people. They're your prophet, innocent. your prophet, your prophet Al Khidr killed an innocent boy in the Quran. What are you talking about? In? Al Khidr. You never heard of Al Khidr in the Quran? He, oh. kill, he killed an innocent boy. Oh. Muhammad enslaved innocent women and children. What are you talking about? No, no, he oh. gave women rights. Before that, people used to bury their uh, wives and widow, bury their own daughters and widows used That's to be buried alive. That's a lie, my friend. Imagine if if we, if, if all the pagans uh, would do that. There would not be any woman left in the whole Arabic Peninsula. That's a lie. Another fabrication by uh, Muslims. And uh, you think Muhammad uh, respected women? No. He's, he called women cows to be ridden. He called them khanazir. He called them uh, half-brained. Where's the respect, my friend? He even, says, he, he, he even says that women will go to hellfire because they are half-brained. Yes. They are having menstruation, their women period, this is why they go to hellfire, because they are simply not clean enough, basically. They are women. Yeah, they have to clean properly then, obviously. Yeah, you think this is this is a prophet of God talking? Yeah. This no, guy, this, this guy hated women. He wanted women he only to have, 
he wanted women only to for pleasure for the for the for the Sex. for their private part that's it wait did jesus love women though jesus never loved women really Apparently, imagine jesus say says that. imagine jesus says love your enemies that means don't love women it doesn't mean love women though. It's saying love your enemy. That yeah. could be. What is what is more worse, your enemy or a woman? A, a five feet tall woman. Who's who's worse? A complete army, enemies or a woman? Who is more dangerous? What are I you mean, talking about, man? Doesn't the Ten Commandments say uh, respect your parents? Yeah. yeah. What are you talking? You have no clue what you're talking about, my friend. Come on. Do Don't you honestly know? So don't even go are you there. Saying don't even go there. Come on. Come on, my friend. Leave Islam. Please, in front of everyone, denounce Muhammad. Come on. I know. I know you have doubt in your heart about Muhammad. I know. Uh, I, we know I it. Believe. You know it. Everyone in the room is laughing. To be honest, my friend, they are laughing and they are asking themselves, when will this guy finally on the mic say Muhammad is a false prophet and Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior? Come on, do it. We know you can do it. To be a prophet, I you believe should not Jesus. fear anyone. I believe in Jesus as a prophet. He's more than a prophet, you know. Oh, he wasn't. He, Why would he, he, want... he cured uh, people's people their eyes. He yeah, even for, he even he even for no 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 he he forgave sins. He forgave sins. He he is a creator. According to your Quran, he created life. He oh, is he is yeah. kalimat Allah. He is the eternal word yeah, of Allah. Word of Allah. He is Ruh Allah. Yeah. Show me any prophet. Show me any prophet who has these divine claims, these divine Isa, attributes. Isa alayhi salam wasn't a god though. He he worshipped. There is no Isa, my friend. His name is Jesu al Masih in Arabic. Muhammad changed oh. his name. No, Isa is Arabic for Jesus. No, no, no. Yeshua is Arabic for Jesus. I'm an Arab, my friend. Yeshua al Masih. That's his real name in Arabic. Isa is another so is fabrication. Well, who was Isa alayhi salam then? No one. We don't know him. We never heard of him before. I think Muhammad, to be honest with you, I'm going to be honest with you, Muhammad uh, confused Esau, the brother of uh, Jacob with Jesus but we know that's uh, at least thousand year mistake historical mistake Esau is the brother of Jacob according to the Bible Jacob, yeah, um, yeah, the father of Joseph yeah so one of the brothers of Jacob is called Esau and I think Muhammad confused them with Jesus with Yeshua and Esau not only that not only that, he also yeah. confused Mary, the mother of Jesus, with Miriam, the sister of Aaron and Moses. And That's uh, also no. at least 1200 years historical mistake. Your prophet was nothing but a liar. He confused himself and he confused all the Muslims. And still, after 1400 years, you Muslims are confused. He's saying then um, Miriam isn't an Arabic for Mary. My friend, Maryam was the sister of Moses. What are you talking about? Yeah, and she was the mother of Jesus. How? How is that? Moses lived 1200 years before Jesus came to the... And no, but she... Are you sure Maryam was the... Are you talking about Mary Magdalene or Maryam? Dude, you have no clue what you're talking about. Mary Magdalene is a, an, again a different person. Do you, do you know what you're talking about, my friend? You are conf you're confusing yourself only. People are laughing, man. Come on. I'm sorry. Mary, uh, I, Mary I Magdalene know. is one of the followers of Jesus. <laughs> she wasn't. She didn't even believe. She believed Jesus was a prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I believe Muhammad was a donkey. Hey. Stop making false claims, my friend. Come on. People well, are honestly, laughing. People are laughing. Come on. Okay, but I'm being a genuinely honest with you. She was a follower of Jesus. She was a follower of Jesus and she even washed his her hairs his, his feet with her head hairs and Jesus said to her you are forgiven I mean if Jesus is not God how can he forgive anyone do you agree with me yeah okay I do agree with you can I can I forgive you can I forgive you be honest with me can I forgive you, you if I forgive me one bit 
Can I forgive your sins? Can I forgive your sins? Answer me. Okay. Who can only forgive sins? God. Okay. Thank you very much. So Jesus must be God because your sins are forgiven. He says, he says to Mary, your sins are, be, are forgiven. So who is Jesus God? Thank you. So oh, do you want you. to, do you want to do denounce Muhammad and accept your Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Again. If I do that, yeah, well, Jesus will say to me on that day, away from me, you evil. Dude. Yeah, that's according to the Quran. We already concluded that the Quran is a false book. We already concluded that Muhammad is a false oh, prophet. You are Bible only, no, no, no. You are, you are quoting the Quran. That's not in our Bible. Man. Okay, should I show you it's in the Bible then? No, it's not in the Bible. It's in the Quran. Oh, it is Matthew 7, 23. Depart from me. I never knew you. Yeah, why did he say that? Can you read the entire chapter for me? To read the entire chapter for you, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Depart from me. That's the entire chapter? <laughs> Matthew 7, 23. <laughs> oh, that's one verse. You want to cherry pick verses without context, my friend. Oh, okay. What? So you want me to read from what to what? 7, 20 to 7, 23 or what? You said Matthew, right? Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. My friend, you don't even know Islam. Why would you go to the Bible, right? Rob, do I have... Uh, I, you I have no know. clue what Islam teaches. Why would you go to the Bible? I, I, I'm asking you a sincere question. You have no the clue. Bible. If you have questions, just ask them. But don't make claims that you have no clue about, okay? <laughs> I do the Rob. You have no clue what you're talking about. Really, uh, you, people are laughing, my friend. Come on. He's laughing, though. Look in the text. People are laughing. That's just Teddy. But can I ask you then? Why? Why did he say that then in Matthew seven twenty three? Then can you answer the question? Like why? What was the? What would be the reason? Matthew twenty seven. Let me start reading with Matthew seven twenty three. Twenty three. Ah. Many, right? many will say to me, let me start with 22. Many will say to me on that day and read, read, read with me. Let me put it in the text. This is 22. Why yeah. are you not first reading the first I'm verse okay, before? Many will say yeah. to me on that day, Lord, Lord, God, God. So they are telling Jesus, God, God. They are calling him God, God. Do we not prophesy in your name and in your name drought out? Drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles. Whose name? In Jesus' name. Who is God? Oh. Jesus is God. Hey, God, okay, God. And then the next verse. Then next, verse. The next verse. I'm going to read. Wait, wait. Patience, my no. friend. Then, then I will tell them. The ones who are calling Jesus God, God. Then I will tell them plainly. I never knew you away from you evildoers. Why? Because these people are hypocrites like Muhammad. This is why. So he will say to the Christians, I never knew you because you're calling yes. them Lord. Yes, because many Christians are only Christians by name. They are do trying to be nice, trying to uh, say we are Christians, but at the same time, they are hypocrites. If yeah. I if okay. I call myself, a, wait, wait, let me explain the verse to you. Okay. Then we continue. Uh, we are not going to play that game. If okay, I today fine. say, I have, I'm going to say Yusuf, Mr. Yusuf Ali. I'm a Christian, but tomorrow I go murder and I steal and I kill and and I do all the nasty Fuck. stuff. I gamble. I use drugs. I'm a Christian. No. Huh? What? You're a Christian by name. Christian by name. Thank you. This is what Jesus is saying. Okay, but can I ask you then? What about the Christians who don't even preach the gospel and then just like you know the women who wear tight clothes and everything? Will, wait, wait, uh, wait. Let me continue. Let me wait, wait, wait. Not, don't jump from topic to topic like a monkey. Just a second. Therefore, this is the next verse. This is chapter 7, ayah 24. Therefore, yeah. everyone who wears these words of mine, whose words? Jesus' words, and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. So if you truly call yourself a Christian and you truly listen to the teaching of Jesus Christ, your foundation will be built on a house or rock that will not collapse. So this is why Jesus said, 
if you are only call yourself a Christian by name, you are only following me only by name. That means you are you are an evil doer. Get away yeah. from me, right? But then, can I ask you then, Rob? I see these. You know, when I go out, most of the times I see Christians like wearing tight clothes, women wearing tight clothes. They then they don't obviously deserve to go um heaven. Then didn't I just said to you? Didn't I just said to you? Not every Christian by name is a Christian. Yeah, of course. So how I many mean, how many Muslims are truly Muslims? I mean, uh, well, all Muslims um, convey the message of God, though we all convey. I it. I think not not even zero dot one percent in Islam are truly Muslims. That's what I what I say to you in your face. Yeah, yeah. Most Muslims are if they're not proper Muslims, I say they're not proper Muslims. Yeah, but and I and and not all Christians are truly Christians, my friend. I yeah, can of course. like I said to you earlier, I can call myself a Christian now, but tomorrow if I'm going to gamble and I'm going to use drugs no, and I'm going to to have ten women at the same time, I'm not a Christian. Of course not. I'm, I'm only yeah, a Christian by name. So we agree, right? We agree, right? But can I ask you then, Rob? What, why why then do these women like just go around half naked like wear tight clothes are they not proper christians then no and why clearly they not because the bible is, is clear it says you have to dress modesty so then why are they mm. calling themselves christians they shouldn't be christians and because they are only mm. christian by name i mean do we no, need to talk even... do we need to talk a half hour about clothes no, my friend i'm just saying though like that's just disrespecting your own religion by just doing all sorts of madness like wearing tight clothes and being trying to be yes. seductive and yes yes okay i agree with have, you. you have to so dress no, you have to dress in a very modest way according to the bible okay. i just told you can i ask you then why then does it say if you accept jesus through salvation you'll go to heaven when most christians don't practice their faith properly and wear um in modest clothing and everything yeah maybe you should go ask them why are you asking me i mean i'm the one i'm not the one who's so dressing you like that gospel, you should be telling them stop, you shouldn't be doing this you're not following christ I'm, I'm 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 just i just said to you i agree with you on that what do you want me to say more I tell them why yeah. follow the gospel and tell them to follow the teaching of yeah. Christ. My friend, if you vote for me, I'm, I'm going to be the second Trump. I will tell them. I I I promise you. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Come on, dude. What are you talking about, man? This is not the knowledge of a. But my friend, my friend. So we can conclude. Muhammad is a fake prophet, and ah. Jesus is Lord, as we just read from you the, from the same. Same verse that you quoted, Lord, Lord, God, God, did we not prophesy in your name, right? The same verse that you quoted earlier. So every verse that you use will be used against you, my friend, in the court of law. <laughs> so thank you mm -hmm. for, uh, thank you for uh, being here and thank you for showing us that Islam is a false tr religion created, oh. fabricated by Muhammad. He's a false prophet who was ridden by the Satan for at least six months. Other sources say one year. And thank you for showing us that Jesus Christ is Lord and Jesus is Lord and Savior. God bless.